What's the biggest IRL drama your tabletop role-playing group has survived? Probably me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> probably. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest. Probably me. But also the coof. Yeah. Well, I don't know. My one didn't. My IRL one broke apart, so it did. Yeah. I was at a, like, a game store, and honestly, it wasn't... We were only going for a couple of months anyway. Yeah. Did you not try and, like... Were you not in, like, something, and then, like, they started up after COVID, and they were like, no, James, I think we're going to close the group. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, so pretty much what happened was, so that group, I was, like, I was I was in it for a while, and I wasn't honestly fussed on it anyway, Yeah. but it was just because it was IRL, so yeah. I was playing IRL, and I was also playing online, but I preferred the IRL group, yeah. so I did, but I wanted to also play IRL at the same time, and uh, they moved online, and I was like, oh, I can be arsed, because... The group wasn't that oh, good. Oh, because you weren't playing online. Yeah, so COVID. I stopped. So I stopped playing online. With, I didn't play online with them at oh, all. Right, okay. And then whenever they went back to in person, I asked them, "Zio, so is there anything happening?" They're like, "No, James. We're just going to keep with the people that played online with us during <laughs> COVID." <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> group was not good anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even like you. One of the players found out his girlfriend had been blowing the GM. How does how did your group survive? Like, how does that survive? I mean, like, you know, I can see it surviving minus... One player or <laughs> but... the DM or whatever, but he said he left for a while, but eventually it more or less got back to normal. None of us has met his new girlfriend, though, which may de- be deliberate. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna, I'm gonna say she's, he's gonna keep her close and secret. <laughs> yeah. Um. Honestly, though, like, let's be serious. If your girlfriend is gonna go ahead and do that... Just she don't... did. She did your fever. Let's be serious. Yeah. You get get her out the door and yeah. don't even don't bother with her anymore. Like yep. that's like the best thing that could have happened. If I be honest with you, our party was given the opportunity to adopt a young child, seven years old, who was the son of one of the player's characters who died. The character's dying wish was that we take care of his child. One woman in our group vehemently refused. Not even in character, but out of character, as she empathetically stated she hated the idea of taking care of a male baby, period, and proudly boasted that she had aborted a male baby before the tempers flared up. What? It, what? 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 It, no, okay. This whole thing itself might have blown over with nothing more than raised tempers, except she was married to another player and they have two daughters together. He put two and two together rather quickly and realised her miscarriage during her first pregnancy was not a miscarriage. That has got to be one of the worst things I've oh ever heard God. in my entire life. Um, I suppose I don't really want to get into... I suppose we kind of have to talk about abortion to a certain extent here, don't we? Oh my God. That is genuinely nightmare material. That, that the, the, You know, the, there's some, certain types of behaviours which are just irredeemable. And I'm going to say that this is definitely one of them. That is... Oh, because she didn't want a boy? That is what Tweevil looks like. Genuinely, though, like, is there any other word to put on that That's bar? Genuine absolutely evil. absolutely ridiculous. That's, um, well, that put it... How did this survive, honestly? I, like, she's out. Out. You go into the ranch. Yeah. I, that's... that's um, I don't really have words what to What happened that. after it? Yeah, let's, let's find out. The biggest issue wasn't her take on abortion itself. Everyone knew she was very liberal. Her husband was royally fucked up over the miscarriage. Losing his unborn was heartbreaking. We all did our share of helping him accept the loss, and she did too, the whole time pretending that it was a miscarriage when in reality it was an abortion. That is fucking evil. Uh, uh, I don't don't know what else to really put on that bar. That is, um, I think this is one of the worst ones we've ever done. That is ridiculous. We've we've done some horror stories. We've, we've, We've heard of stories of people misbehaving, doing horrible things. But that is... Yeah, somebody said, I'm pro-choice as fuck, but even I draw the line at aborting a healthy baby because you don't like its sex. That, that is uh, ridiculous. I, like, I, that's, that's, that's vile. That is genuinely disgusting. And I don't think there's a... I'm not, I'm, I'm not a religious person, but that's a fucking sin. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about hell or heaven or any of that type of stuff, but you're definitely going to hell for that. That's wild. Fuck Jesus me. Christ. That's bad. Let's, let, like, I, let's just continue. Hopefully there's something less depressing in this video. My best friend asking us to let his baby mama join the campaign. Then when she's confused and shit, she asks for a friend of hers to join as the sixth player. Even if it's just so he could play as her familiar. She eventually dropped out and nobody gave a shit. But I had to send texts back and forth and shit as DM and everyone defaulted to me as DM. 
so I said no to the other dude. Granted, eventually my friend had to drop too because he wasn't having fun while trying to play on top of caring for the baby. I have no idea what this guy was even trying to say. The only thing that I'm getting from all this is, don't let women in. (laughs) (laughs) That's the only thing I'm getting from this thread so far. It's like, you know what, maybe... maybe, Don't let women play. Maybe should women be (laughs) palmed. This is a state of emergency. Not just role-playing games, from everything in general, Megan, sorry. You're just gonna have to get banned. Okay, I'll get banned. Cook your own dinners then. Oh no. <laughs> First group I joined through my uni RPG club. GM is some old bearded grog from the engineering faculty who's been running games for 30 something years. Wait, is he. <clears throat> I is think it... everybody knows someone like that. Is, is this Dungeoncraft? <laughs> you know, Dungeoncraft is actually a teacher, so he is. Is he? Yeah, he's, uh, he's unironically is a real teacher and he, play, he, he runs games for his students. Based? It's kind of wholesome. Runs a genuinely excellent campaign, apart from the fact that his girlfriend is one of the players. She's some former student dropout who plays the most special, special snowflakes. An orphan elven maiden with a pet wolf who was later revealed to be a princess and the inheritor of a special dragon spirit that let her turn into a dragon that breathes divine fire. That's a lot. <laughs> that is, that is an awful lot. <clears throat> Although played is stretching the definition, since she spent most of the session nodding off thanks to the oxy she's doing down like candy. Fuck. Supposedly prescribed for her chronic pain. And the mid-session joint she fucked off to smoke. Sometimes not returning because she fell asleep in the GM's van. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? This I girl can't... just seems like a hot mess. <laughs> yeah, she does. I did the girl dog get the hot mess. At some point they break up. Her character gets written out of the campaign. The game continues as normal. Lots of fun is had. Semester break rolls round. RPG club doesn't have rooms booked, so GM hosts session at his place. Tour of his house reveals a sex? A sex room complete with flogging horse, suspension points drilled into the ceiling, and rows of whips, paddles, and canes hanging on the wall. Whatever. Session is great as all. (laughs) Gets a gentle buzz from the GM's homebrewed mead and chow down in some smoked ribs. Agreed to meet at his place again next week. Halfway through the next week's session, door gets kicked in. Some bikey looking cunt bursts in with an axe. Starts screaming at GM and demanding money. Oh, it's it's his his oxy money. (laughs) He he knows knows him a bell. Yeah. All the players lose our shit because we're all nerdy 18 year olds fresh out of high school who've never been in a real fight before. (laughs) First of all, he shoes the sex room. Yes. You know what? I kind of. I just keep it locked up. I'm like, oh no, literally, it's just a junk room at the moment. Yeah, don't worry. I've just got so much shit I need to organize. I mean, that's a a pretty pro gamer move. I was like, well, this is my sex dungeon. (laughs) Yo, guys, do you want to (laughs) see? I mean, that, that would probably explain how you end up getting the fucking the hot mess that's going to ruin your life. Yeah. That's probably... Does 360s on your deck. But she also screams and will make your life a living hell. Yeah. Turns out it's a GM's ex's new boyfriend. GM grabs a wall hanger katana. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. Ah! GM hangs a wall, grabs a wall hanger katana and prepares to duel. I grab a bar stool and clock the guy in the side of the head. He drops, of course you did, and yeah, drops no, no, to no. his knees. I was willing to suspend belief and enjoy this one, but that just ruined it yep. for me now. He drops to his knees with blood pouring from his mouth. Get him again in the shoulder and he drops the axe. Who just rocks up with an axe anyway? If you're going <laughs> to bait someone, who rocks up with an axe? I mean, that's pretty, pretty brutal. Blood still pouring from his mouth. The remaining two girls in the group are screaming. Someone else is calling the police. GM is frozen in the middle of the room, holding his katana. I'm frozen off to the side, holding my bar stool. Guy stumbles to his feet with his arm flopping about the place and takes off out of the door. We're all still in shock. Police eventually arrived, find some teeth in the floor. We make statements. Guy left his car in the driveway, gets picked up a couple of streets away. Never need to testify in court because the guy was on parole and pled guilty or some shit. Next session replaced by all the players getting pissed at the uni bar and deciding whether we want to continue with the campaign. We do. Campaign continues as normal. That was the first introduction to RPGs for three out of the five players, including GM's girlfriend, but not sure about her. Well, that was a wild ride. I want that one to be real. 
I really want that one to be real. I, I doubt the nerdy 18 year old hit big biker boy over the face, but. But I'll accept the other. I'll, I'll accept the You know the what? Rest. Ev- ev- everyone's mad. Everyone's mad. The Glock Nerd that works in. <laughs> the Glock Nerd that's even. Like, my one was into 40k, so he was. Yeah. Um, but everyone's met the Glock Nerd that, like, you know, just runs about the uni that everyone seems to know somehow. Yeah. yeah. He's really handy. They're really nice guys, though, if I'll be honest with you. I don't know about the sex gun, though. He was very religious, the one I knew. He might have had the sex gun. Look, it's always the quiet types you need to watch out for. <laughs> I don't know if he would have showed you, though. This expanded beyond just tabletop role-playing games and into my entire local game store. So I guess it counts. Local game store opens up a block from my house. Go there with my friend on day zero, and owner's really cool. Continue going there for the next five or six years, every day after college. Get hired to work there. Finish up college. Make lots of friends at local game store. Store owner is teaching me the business because I want to have a local game store someday. Playing SWM, WoW trading card game, Pokemon and several tabletop role playing games. Teaching parents and their kids in some days on how to play Pokemon. Living the dream, I'm happy in life. Suddenly, my dog dies. Falling into deep depression. Make up lies about owner to my friends. Throw teenage hissy fit even though I'm in my 20s now. Cut off ties with everyone. Owner tries to reach out to me, push him away. A year goes by, I just stay low and wallow in my own sorrow. Owner tries one last time to reach out to me. I ignore him. Another year goes by, get a job in retail. Still miserable. See local game store owner and his family at my work. They're happy to see me and he gives me a hug. Start crying because I suddenly realise how much of a bitch I've been. Apologise to them for everything and say when I have off, I'll stop by the store. Owner gets quiet. I actually closed the store and all. Things worked out though. Met up with my friends at another local game store. Store owner moved to another state, but we're on good terms. My biggest regret in life is not going that last time he reached out to me, because that was their closing week. I have so many fond memories of that store, and while I'm lucky we have another local game store, and all my original friends still meet up every Thursday to play games, I miss the old local game store so, so much. Sorry for sounding like a mega fag. But that's about the only drama I have had with my grip. That's sad. Aww. I really feel for this one. I really feel for this one. You know what? I, whenever I think back, I'm I'm fond about my Google, my first one, yeah. the War Gaming Center, yeah. because it was just it was really good. I was really new into 40k, or I was getting back into 40k. I'm like, you know, the guys on it were great, but he was always away. He yeah. Always, yeah. He he was he worked in England, so mm-hmm. like you know, it was kind of like a part time sort of thing. But it was really cool because it was in like an industrial state and you were like to like drink as long as you weren't like... I just went and got steam. <laughs> yeah, but it was good, really good and I miss it. But now I feel for this guy, oh, you no. know what I mean? And like, you know, especially the something about animals dying, it, it does hit you hard. Yeah. I don't know anyone who's lost a, a loved pet and they took it well, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, um, it's one of those oh, sad things that just happened. Well, at least he realised and, you know, he made up with the guy and whatnot. Yeah. Maybe one day we'll open that game store. I hope he does. I hope he does. I would, that'd be really cool, though. It would be really nice. Psst. Hey, lean in closer. This is fucking ASMR channel now. You know what's pretty fucking based? Titties. <laughs> Go see titties. <laughs> Lots of titties. All the titties. <laughs> Go over to the website. Check out all the models. You guys know the score. We have some really nice looking models over there. And we have a lot of... It's sci-fi gothic? Yeah. Let's call them sci-fi gothic. And if models isn't your shit, we have loads of subclasses and we keep adding them every other week or so. We we, we yeah, add we, a lot. We, we, we got a lot. Do you, do you Look, guys- we've got big brains. We add shit. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, go over to the website, check out everything. If you haven't subscribed, what the fuck you doing? Hit subscribe, hit the notification bell as well. And let's get back to the video. Every week we're going to be doing a giveaway of the new pinup model of the month, or if models isn't your thing, all of our homebrew content. If you want to be in with a chance to win the giveaway, all you need to do is subscribe. That's it. Hit the subscribe button. That's do it. it. <laughs> do it now. But last week's winner was this guy. Well Yay. done! Yay! Yay! Round of applause! Yeah. Everybody stands up and claps. But enough of that, let's get back to the video. My friend asked me to run a game for his grip. They want D&D 5th edition since that's the only thing anyone has any experience with. I agreed kind of begrudgingly, even though I don't usually run D&D. 
A few of the players are new. Some of them only played a few times. Well, then that's no excuse. They can play something else. Huh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they can play something else. If they're new, then you can you can get them on something else. It's not like they've got an excuse of, oh, I've spent ages learning how to play this. Uh-huh. Exactly. No, no, we're going to play something that's good. Turns out the guy who's hosting this at his house only lives one neighbourhood away. Cool, I think to myself. Maybe new friends that are right down the road. I get there and everyone is playing Magic the Gathering around the kitchen table. Legacy Magic the Gathering. Gross. I can't comment uh, well, on that. Well, I, I would say just Magic the Gathering in general. Gross. Gross. Yeah. <laughs> I've never been, like, I, I've, never, I'm, I've never gone into card games, guys. Yeah. I'm sorry. We wait for some others to arrive and I get to meet the group for the first time. The host smells really bad. His wife is playing Magic the Gathering with the group and it turns out she has pretty severe autism or something. Like she's obviously got some mental handicap. She doesn't speak well and acts like a child. She's kind enough though, I guess. Since I'm not a social retard, I keep face and try to be kind to her in return. The host starts talking to me about how he wants to run games too, and asks if he can tell me about his idea for a game. Okay. <laughs> oh. it is- he explains how he wants to run an epic level D&D game where the party makes a name for themselves and starts a guild. He wants to include a mega dungeon. His plans are huge and grandiose. He basically wants to dive into the deep end. I kind of cringe, but whatever. We start playing when everyone gets there. The host plays a minotaur that's min-maxed as hell. He didn't ask if a minotaur was okay, but I guess I didn't ask him about it previously either. He has 22 in strength and rolled before I got there. (laughs) Okay. Yeah, sure. I tell him that 5th edition caps are 20 for players. He gets upset. This upsets his autistic wife. They get in a fuss and she ends up going into another room. You know what? You haven't even started yet. Oh, shit! She, you're rolling before anyone's even there. You're not rolling in person. Like that's just, and they're already getting they're on their best. Stu- you yeah, you right, need to okay. get out. This is this is this is warning signs should be burned. But don't get, get out, out because we we need a story. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, like you know, this is what this channel's built on. After all, is it not? <laughs> the session begins. I got pretty drunk to curb my frustration with the new players and how uncomfortable I tend to be around new people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Next week, I decide I don't want to play. Just not feeling it. No inspiration for anything. The third week we decide to get together again, but since I have a bigger table, I offered to host. No, you don't let these no, people you don't know do where... that. No, don't let them know where you live. Yeah. Everyone shows up. The previous host brought his wife. Time for her to meet my wife, I guess. The previous host smells even worse this time. God damn, my entire house stinks with body odour. During the session, we go to eat pizza. The entire time the previous host is talking to me in the car about how he wants to run his campaign again. I'm doing my best to just deal with his odour. This time he tells me he wants the bad guy to be a previous ally of the party. A fighter who decides that living the longest is the most important and is what decides your worth. He decides that he wants to be a lich to fix this whole dying issue. He takes people from the guild with him and sacks a city to give himself an adequate enough place of darkness and despair to complete the Lich's transformation ritual. He starts telling me about how cool this big bad evil guy of his is and how big his stats are. Show me your stats. <laughs> Show me your muscles. <laughs> Show me your muscles. <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to imagine this guy is purple lucky, right? <laughs> this is a running thing. He keeps wanting to show me the broken build he's come up with on an app on his phone. He explains how he wants to do big epic battles with D&D's rules and wants every player to have an entourage of followers at all times. I think he wants to play like a skirmish in war game mm. at this point. I go completely honest with the guy. I tell him that he's reaching for the moon and we'd be better off running another system. I suggest rain. He doesn't say anything about that and just keeps talking about how epic he wants his campaign to be. <laughs> I tell him again he should probably slow down a bit. He's planning out the entire thing when he doesn't even know what type of people the players are going to play. This keeps up for the entire car ride. He disregards everything I ever say to warn him and just comes by with, Well, in my game, I want to have all the guild members be at least over level 16 and be really good fighters. You know, just stuff that doesn't fix the issues I'm bringing up. I start to not like the guy. So you did like him? (laughs) I mean, I think he's given him a really good attempt. Yeah. You know, what is it? What is it about this? And I really can't explain this annoyance that I've got. See when people try and show me stuff on their phone 
I got an app or anything, mm-hmm. I get unreasonably annoyed with it, and I can't explain why. But you do that to people? Yeah, I know I do, and I, <laughs> and I, and I, and I fully admit that it, it annoys me when other people do it to me. But then you I don't, do it. Yeah, exactly. I do do it. Hypocritical bastard. I know. What can I say? I'm sorry, guys. At least I can admit to my own faults. <laughs> I start to not like the guy. He's dismissive of my criticism and seems childish. Being married to an autistic woman, I've got to admit, my opinion of the guy was pretty low already. We return the session and his wife gets mad at her f- at my friend for vaping in the room we're in because she's allergic to nicotine. Okay. She hangs out with my wife and my wife has the obvious question of what's wrong with her? <laughs> Yay! You, you, you get this all the time. I can see this in your face. Yeah. <laughs> we're in an enclosed room when she asks me this. We're alone, so no big deal. No idea. I answered. I go back to the game, and the previous host continues to be kind of a dick, arguing rules for the sake of rules as written, and telling me that he doesn't want PCs to be able to use the blessed spells 1d4 to add to their damage. This is in a boss fight where they're almost dying. I'm just trying to give them a break. As to be expected, by the way, this minotaur just rushed in and tried to beat the enemy's numbers with his, with his numbers. He gets instantly curb stomped in two turns. He didn't die, but he did drop the zero at one point. Rose lawyering continues out of this guy every time I try to give him and the party a break. He also gets frustrated and confused that I modify an existing monster to have higher HP to use for the boss. I end up getting really frustrated and called the session early. I said I was going to bed, that I was tired. I called our mutual friend up, the guy who originally invited me to run for them. I told him that Wait, I... Wait, so he did... So he didn't mutual, even... He, he, he just said, like, can you play for them? And then not show up. That's... That's mad. And I told him that I don't know if I can handle this guy. Surprisingly, his answer was, it's hard for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> no, so he's a player. Okay. I think everyone... It's, knows, it's everyone, hard for all... <laughs> it's hard for all of us. Just, it's hard. You just kind of get used to him. He's, he's, like, he's, he's pretty harmless, but he's a bit of a dick. <laughs> I explained how, that's great and all, but I really don't know if I want to run for him anymore. And I just don't very much, I don't like very much being around him. He asks me if there's some way to fix the situation. I told him I don't think I would be bringing it up if there was. I can't put my finger on it. Maybe I'm an asshole. An asshole? But I just hate this guy who was the previous host. I'm not too much of a fan of his wife either. She's childish and obviously high maintenance as hell. My friend breaks the news to the other guy and now he's not in the grip anymore got another session on Friday. I wonder if anyone's going to ask me why I kicked him. I'm not sure how I'll answer if they do. I just didn't like the guy. The guy. The guy. The guy. I guess I would be the would be the only response I could give him. Honestly, yeah, I think you made the right decision. Out the fuck. Um, you know. Yeah, look, if they just ask, you just make me just don't like him. Like this, this falls back to we've done this so many times, and it's true every time. Um, there's a lot of people that play role keep playing games and they don't know why they're playing them. Why are you playing it if you're not enjoying it? Uh-huh. It's a very social game. You need to find people that you work well with. If mm-hmm. you're not working well with the people, you're going to have to find it. And that's yeah. just that. There's no other thing you can put on this. And uh, also, from what I've found from this, um, don't invite women. <laughs> women are women. Yeah. Women should be banned, sadly, from yeah. the looks of it. I really hope that abortion one is fake. I, hope I that one really is fake. want that. I, there's not many times I've we've read posts where it's like you know what I really want that not to be real I really I really hope, I hope it's, that's it real. doesn't exist please for the love of God don't let it be real and I really hope it's not real because it just shouldn't be I real I know it shouldn't it's, be it's actually that horrible that evil it's, could it's, 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 shouldn't be walking this earth <laughs> yeah it's genuinely evil um, have you guys ever had any serious drama I don't think I've had any like t- nothing too bad, no. nothing out there, nothing unusual, nothing, no. nothing that's well. Then again, also I can't even talk about it. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. Like James, what are you talking about? You know what I mean? Um, I suppose that would be about it from us. Yeah. It? Will we wrap up? We'll wrap it up. Um, so. Oh, before I forget, we're giving away the Bob Builder Stop Lock and TD Storyteller to give us a few maps to give away. They're interactive. They're really cool. Definitely something to try out because. They're interactive and you can get you can buy the full map packs off him, but we just have the free version up on our site, so go ahead and check that out. Because we're gonna be working with him on quite a few things in the near future. And his stuff's actually really, 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 good. really cool. Really good. It's one of those ones because I was talking to him and I was like, the problem is, right? Yeah, the maps are really cool, but why would anyone use this when Google Images exists? 
You know what I mean? Yeah. So you need a hatch and get people use them and experiment with them. So that's why he's like, right, you know what? I'll give you something to give away for free. And if people enjoy them, then they can go ahead and they can buy them. And I think that's Based. the best way to go about it. So let us know your stories down below. If you had any drama, IRL drama at your I... table, let us know. And while you're down there, as Jim said, check out the website, to the models, subclasses, all that good shit. Hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we post a video. We'll <laughs> <laughs> <Yes. laughs> see you in the next one. Bye. All those moments we lost in time.